Hey everyone, I'm Josh Mockelstead, one of the advisors here at Gen Financial, and I want to share two quick tips with you on how to keep your information safe and secure this summer. Before I share these tips, you may wonder what kind of information we're trying to keep secure. Cybersecurity experts refer to this as personally identifiable information. We're talking about things like social security numbers, dates of birth, bank account numbers, investment account numbers, credit card information, passwords, or tax returns. Unfortunately, we live in a world where theft and crime occur. That being said, you probably don't leave your house or your car unlocked. You might have a security camera or something like that. You take smart measures to try and secure what you value. In the same way, taking smart measures to protect your digital information, it's just like locking your house or your car, getting a security system, etc. It's not going to prevent every issue, but it will help minimize the odds of something bad happening to you. So the first tip I have for you is to be extremely cautious with the email. When sending personally identifiable information, preferably avoid email, or at the very least, send this type of information through encrypted email. Email is not a very secure way to send information. Hackers and other cyber criminals are often able to see what's being sent to someone else via email. The best way to submit personal information to us is through the Gen Portal, which you can access from our website. We strongly prefer this method when you send us information, such as your tax returns or other sensitive documents. If you have questions about this, give our office a call. Someone on our team would be happy to help you get this set up. It's a practice we encourage that helps avoid sensitive information being sent through unsecured email. If you must use email, please learn how to encrypt your email. The process is different for different email providers, but there's usually ways to encrypt the emails so that they're more secure. Uh, the you know, person you're emailing typically will have to be verified through a separately sent password or something like that to help uh, keep it from falling into the wrong hands. Just a quick Google search will help you figure out how to do it for your specific email host. The second tip I have for you is to question your calls. We've heard of more and more instances of people being called out of the blue by someone who claims to be with their bank or their credit card company or some other trusted financial institution. That person may even have details about certain transactions or other ways to make it seem like they're legitimate. You know, the, the caller even can impersonate the institution's phone number, making it look like the call is coming from somewhere that it's not. Um, they may make you believe your credit card was stolen uh, so that you give them information so that they can actually steal it. There's some very elaborate scams out there. It's really sad. One solution that can stop many of these attempts in their tracks is to just hang up on the person who called you and call that financial institution back at the 800 number listed on the credit card. Don't trust someone who called you out of the blue. It may very well be a legitimate employee, but at least by calling back the main number, you can ensure it wasn't someone trying to scam you. So as a recap, our first tip was to be extremely cautious with email. Avoid emailing personal information or at the very least encrypt your email. Our next tip was to question your calls. Always call back the main number of the place that called you to ensure you aren't falling victim to a scam. Hopefully these tips will help keep you safe and secure this summer. If you have any questions or you need help accessing the online gen portal, just give our office a call or reach out to your advisor. Take care.